dear students in this class we will learn about the difference between the organic and inorganic compounds in the previous classes we discussed about uh, organic compounds and inorganic compounds uh, what makes the number of organic compounds so high and in this class we will uh, learn about what makes the organic compound different from the inorganic compounds so let's start in organic compound the presence of carbon is mandatory every organic compound contains carbon but in inorganic compound presence of carbon is not mandatory for example in water is two or uh, in nacl sodium chloride uh, table salt there is no carbon is present uh, organic compound is always formed with covalent bond for example uh, methane ethane or uh, ethanol etc every other organic compound is formed with covalent bond but inorganic compound is formed with ionic bond or covalent bond any bond can be present both of these bonds can be present the organic compounds the melting point and boiling point of organic compounds is low but in comparison the melting point and boiling point of inorganic compounds that is actually the inorganic compounds which are formed by the ionic bonds the melting point and boiling point of these compounds are so high for example the uh, sodium chloride or table salt has a melting point of 801 degrees celsius where the methane ethane these organic compounds are actually gas in the room temperature organic compounds are soluble in non-polar solvents uh, for example uh, the non-polar solvents like benzene uh, they are soluble in this type of uh, non-polar solvent but organic uh, inorganic compounds are solvent in the polar soluble in the polar compounds like water for example uh, magnesium chloride or any ionic maximum ionic salts are actually soluble in the water organic compounds doesn't conduct electricity no organic compound conducts electricity in their melted form or in a liquid form etc any other form but inorganic compounds in their melted state or soluble state that is insoluble when they are soluble in water they can conduct electricity but inorganic compound can conduct electricity but organic compound can not conduct electricity in any condition the mechanism of reaction of the organic compound is complex we can see the mechanism of reaction of the organic compound slow complex we will learn about the mechanism of reaction of the organic compounds later but the mechanism of reaction of the inorganic compounds is easy and faster that is they uh, the reactions are actually in the ionic mechanisms and the ionic reactions are so fast and uh, happens just readily the number of the organic compound is so high and the number of the inorganic compound is actually low in comparison to the organic compound these things are actually the difference between the organic and inorganic compound where you can say, get uh, the questions of uh, questions in your exam from these differences thank you thank you all